When I was uh, when I had braces, the uh, the wire had uh, slipped from the brackets and accidentally ended up piercing my lower lip. And uh, I remember it hurt a lot, and it was it was an ordeal, and uh, it affected me greatly. Um, but the funny thing about that is, uh, years later, that very same wire is now the proud owner of a high-end body jewelry shop in a hometown of Detroit, uh, Florida. Couldn't be happier with her situation. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say here, people, is that you never know how you're going to find your passions in this life. Just take it from Trisha. The wire. There's a lot of young girls in the audience, so I'm here to tell you about life. You can get all cosmo on your so if you want to know what that guy really thinks of you, you can tell by where on you he comes. If it's on the head, anywhere, especially the face, he doesn't respect you. And that is as far as my research has gone. <laughs> Do you think anybody was more on edge the night Barack Obama got elected president than the presidential barber? Because <laughs> that's some shit he's never dealt with before. I like to imagine Barack Obama went in and was just like, hey man, can you give me a quick lineup? And he was like, uh, no I cannot. Uh, that's not really in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I can do a swoosh on the side. You fellas like swooshes, don't you? So you want you to come back tomorrow? I'm gonna to watch Barbershop tonight, see if I can play this by ear. Uh, speaking of the president, I've been hanging out with a lot of people who have weird conspiracy theories. I like people who have conspiracy theories because they always will end their conspiracy rant with just like one sentence. They'll go, coincidence? You tell me. That's like they're pinning the argument. They're like, hey, I don't need to say more than that, man. And it's like some dude came up to me. He's like, hey, man, just look at the dollar bill, bro. Look at the dollar bill. I got an eagle on the back. Got 13 arrows in his claw. Guess how many members of the Illuminati there are? I was like, 13? He's like, 26. I was like, well, 26 divided by 2 is 13. Coincidence? No, you just did it wrong. You can't expect me to do math and be like, it's like that thing I said. See? That doesn't work that way. He was like, all right, man, well, look at 9 11, dude. Government job, break it down. 9 1 1. Who were the first people on the scene? 9 1 1. Coincidence? I'm like, no, that's just the way shit works. The only way that'd be a coincidence if that would happen in March and the first people on the scene were the band 311. I'd be like, this is a weird coincidence. What the fuck are you idiots doing here? You're probably responsible for this. I'm not even completely convinced they're not responsible for 9-11. Like, I think Osama heard one of their CDs and was like, Amber is the color of what? This shit's gotta stop. 